My name is Mackenzie Moen and I'm from the race and ethnic diversity class and I'm going to talk to you about chapter 16 questions and number one is social construction of race emphasizes how we create arbitrary definitions of skin color that have social consequences. Drawing on the societies discussed, select one of the nation, identify how social definitions work in other ways to define the group and I think that the apartheid era in um, South Africa has shown how race can be like a tool for total subjugation of like millions of people because um, they're not allowed to um, the real word is, they're not allowed to maintain separation or like it's intended to maintain separation so that's like the boundary and apply the functionalist and conflict approaches of sociology first introduced in chapter one to each of the societies under the study in this chapter and they are all all of the ones talked about mainly is Mexico, Canada, Brazil, Israel, and South Africa and for Mexico I put that um, it's functionalist because it's they're only considered if they're um, talking about immigrants to the United States, but um, the conflict can be because they're only looked at as a, a source of uh, refugees. For Canada, um, I put functionalist because Canada looks for like common peoplehood and sort of like a multicultural coexistence and um, they want to conserve like national identity. Um, Brazil, I put um, conflict, be conflict perspective because they're um, they're not like a racial paradise. They're really bad, and they like they depended on slave trade almost more than the U.S. For Israel, I put that they have. Diasposa and Zionism, which is um, oh, I and Diasposa Spora is the exile of Jews from Palestine, and Zionism is the traditional Jewish religious yearning to return to the biblical homeland. So when like Israel and how or like Palestine and how like um, Jews and Islam and Muslims are fighting to um, get their homeland back, even though like it was the Jews indigenous homeland and it wasn't the people there now in Palestine. So I put that as conflict because it's built on conflict pretty much, like there's no coexistence at all. And for South Africa I put um, it's a functionalist because it's completely multiracial. Like there is no such thing really as um, like an indigenous, an un, a completely untouched um, culture there. There's nothing there is untouched except for the art which is now being kind of altered. Um, and number three is the conflict outlined in this chapter are examples of ethno-national conflicts, but how have other actions or inactions of the United States contributed to these problems? Um, I think that, well, the U.S. has completely, it is like, the U.S. is built on an ethno-national conflict because everything that goes on in the United States pretty much is actions or inactions of discrimination against religious groups, people's different like societal views, the way they want to live, the culture, and everything. And I think that they've contributed to these problems because they are reminding of us about like the subordinate relations in racism.